Hello and welcome to this ZTPFGI demonstration. In this demo, we'll take a brief overview of the ZTPFGI workspace. We can start by double-clicking the ZTPFGI icon on the desktop to launch ZTPFGI. After the initial splash screen, the ZTPFGI workspace becomes visible. When you first look at ZTPFGI, you will notice five main areas. The Files windows, where you can explore local files, host files, library files, projects and load sets. The Editor area, where you can view, edit and debug your source code. The Code Outline window, which provides an easy and convenient way for you to navigate your code. The Output window, which displays status and error messages, as well as search results and other output messages and the ribbon menu bar that is based on Microsoft's fluent user interface design which provides easy and intuitive access to ZTPFGI's many features. The first tab in the ribbon menu is the Home tab. This is a tab that contains controls for editing files. It is also where you'll find controls to compile, build and load your programs. The Source tab is where you'll find buttons that will help you manage your source code. The Page Layout tab allows one to customise how to view source files, for example, whether or not to show line numbers or column guides, or to set syntax highlighting rules. The Message tab contains controls for performing message runs to the specified target terminals. The Analyze tab provides access to analytical tools such as the Trace Output Viewer, the Transaction Recording and Examination Facility and the Visual Log. And the View tab contains controls that allows you to customise the layout of your ZTPFGI workspace. The ZTPFGI ribbon menu also contains a number of context-sensitive menus that are only made available within the context in which they are used. Important examples of such menus are the System tab, which is made available only when connected to ZTPF and contains controls that allow you to interact with the system. The Debug tab which contains controls for debugging at the source code level and is only available when files are locked into source view. And the Trace tab, which contains controls for tracing programs at the macro instruction level and is only available while at least one trace terminal is open. To find out more about these context sensitive controls, please watch the various demos about connecting to ZTPF and about debugging at the source and ECB levels. ZTPFGI also includes a quick start button bar for frequently used buttons and an application menu that includes controls for accessing and printing files. There's also a recent documents list for easy access to recently used documents on the host and on the PC. Thanks for watching this brief overview of the ZTPFGI workspace. To find out more, please watch some of the other demos that are available. Take a look at our brochure or contact us for further information.